politics is something that I've been interested in, I would say, since, I've, since I was 10 or 12. Um, initially, I was interested in studying the politics of the home region where I'm from, from South Asia. Um, but once I got into grad school, there were, there were a lot of controversial immigration laws being considered, much like they are today. And one of the expressions that, that I like to use is that demography is not destiny. What I mean by that is that you have a lot of places in this country that are changing because of immigration. And some places are doing the types of things that we see, which is trying to pass laws that are punitive and trying to reject the newcomers coming in. But you also have communities that are going the opposite direction. What we find is that politics plays a big role. Places that are predominantly conservative and Republican are much more likely to go down the path of punitive measures. And places that are liberal are much more likely to go down the path of integration. One thing about the immigration debate today is that it's very limited. And what I mean by that is most of the attention is on illegal immigration and immigration from Mexico or other Spanish-speaking countries. People might ask, so why, why are people focusing so much on illegal immigration and Mexican migration in particular? Some argue that it's related to race. Pat Buchanan had a, had a very famous speech in the 1990s where he said that illegal Irish immigrants wouldn't cause the same kind of cultural disruption in this country as illegal Mexican immigrants would. And um, so, a lot, so a lot of these cultural concerns might actually be concerns about race and racial diversification. You also have a lot of attention focused on illegality because it's just something that, that grabs people's attention. And that's an unfortunate thing because it's, it's, it's a very partial reality of what immigration is about in this country.